private. And uh, right now, let's get to News 12 Connecticut. Sean McCabe talking about the challenges and the growing industry of growing hydroponic lettuce. 25% of the people in Bridgeport are food insecure, a quarter. And then one in five kids go to bed hungry in Connecticut. We can do better. Nourish Bridgeport feeds 1,500 people a week through its North Avenue pantry. Founder Reverend Sarah Smith says she wanted to provide something better than secondhand produce. I'm tired of, you know, gross potatoes and rotted cabbage, and that's what I'm going to give our neighbors. I wouldn't need it. Nourish's new Stratford farm producing hundreds of pounds of veggies and herbs in its first two months. No field required. This one here, we have some rhubarb chard and we have some black Simpson lettuce. The Stratford Farms grow room outfitted with viewing windows and a mezzanine gallery. Organizers say part of their goal here is to show people the future of fighting food insecurity. I want some little kid to come in here and say, I want to do that. I love being the first not-for-profit hydroponic farm. I do not want to be the last. Once they get a chance to germinate, crops are kept well lit and well watered in hydroponic boxes big and small. The freight container farm is outside there. It is amazing. We can't go in it because the plants are sleeping. The final products packaged for Nourish's Super Pantry and other pantries around Bridgeport and on sale at farmers markets in Bridgeport and Stratford. Oh yeah, as soon as you move the unit you can smell them. Oh yeah. Farmers say when you're growing indoors, everything is in season. You know, cilantro has a very short season, very short, I mean two months if that outside. For us it's all year round, 365 days. In Bridgeport, Sean McCabe, News 12, Connecticut.